Hello, Central Florida. Today I want to tell you the story of how back in the 1940s, sports history was made right here in Central Florida. Jackie Robinson broke the color barrier in Major League Baseball in Daytona Beach. But that story actually began a few miles up the road in Sanford. When the year when Branch Rickey decided he was going to break the color barrier in Major League Baseball, he brought Johnny Wright and Jackie Robinson to Sanford. Reporters from all over the country came and saw Wright and Robinson at this ball field and at the practice field next door. Robinson was interviewed all over the country, but not in Sanford, not in Florida. And you have to remember that back at that time, it was Jim Crow, and in the South, no hotel that catered to whites could let anybody of another black stay in a hotel. If you did, then the state would take away your license to be a hotel. So you were forced to segregate. That was the law of the land. So my father went to D.C. Brock, and they were friends, and asked D.C. if Jackie Robinson and this other gentleman could stay with them while they were here in the town. And that's what they did. The story as we have it from Robinson and from reporters who traveled with him is that someone came to the Brock home and implied a threat to both Robinson and Wright, basically told Mr. Brock that they needed to leave. Branch Rickey, not wanting to cause waves apparently, put them in a car and drove them to Daytona. And that is where the color barrier was broken in baseball. That meant Robinson would be training at City Island Ballpark. The park was built around 1914, and some 32 years later, it would be the site of baseball history as Jackie Robinson played in a spring training game for the Montreal Royals. People have been playing baseball here at City Island for over 100 years. It's one of the oldest ballparks in the United States and certainly one of the most historic. This was a milestone in sports and civil rights history. This was the first racially integrated spring training in modern professional baseball history. Seeing Jackie Robinson play was very inspiring to us because we had, this is something that we had never seen. And to see him in this setting was even more inspiring because we knew that he could play ball. But to realize that Jackie was breaking the color barrier, it encouraged us to try to be the best that we could be because we saw potential in, the, in our future. This was the only ballpark in the South where he was allowed to play. Other cities canceled games in Jacksonville, DeLand, because of segregation laws and out, out and out prejudice. Daytona Beach was famous for how blacks and whites worked together politically. And that's because of the impact of Dr. Mary McLeod Bethune and the people that worked at City Hall with her, blacks and whites working together. It was really different in Daytona Beach politically. And that's one of the main reasons why Branch Rickey trained here. Jackie Robinson was a star. People wanted to see Jackie Robinson play. He was electric, he was exciting. And that happened here in Daytona Beach. So people looked beyond a lot of the prejudice at the time. And they looked at Jackie Robinson as a player. It's nice to see the fans accepted him here in Daytona Beach, and he got cheers and like any other ball player would, as he deserved. I'm Buddy Pittman, and that's Central Florida.